Welcome to the Pueblo Community College 2021 Commencement Ceremony. Graduates, your time has finally come. Despite the challenges of the past 14 months, you continue to work, always keeping this moment in mind. Your perseverance is about to prove its worth. Family, friends, instructors, and PCC staff members are all here to help you celebrate. Go Panthers! This year in particular, it is proof of your personal determination, adaptability, and most of all, heart. Congratulations and enjoy your ceremony. To the class of 2021, uh, we'd like to congratulate you on your accomplishments and wish you the very best for your futures. Uh, we're here today to just offer a song or two in our traditional way. This is a blessing. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the
Hi, my name is Dr. Sam DeSumo, the Executive Dean of Pueblo Community College Southwest Campus in beautiful Southwest Colorado. Con congratulations to the class of 2021. Today, as you close one chapter, another one begins. Take a minute to reflect on the day you began this journey. Think about the challenges you overcame. Think about the sacrifices, the sleepless nights, the assignments, preparing for tests, your clinicals, externships, your day job, and even your night job. And not to forget your family that you sometimes put on the back burner just to complete that last assignment. On behalf of the staff and faculty of the Pueblo, Fremont, and Southwest campuses of your PCC, I congratulate you on this moment, on, the, on this important day in your life. Webster defines perseverance as steady persistence in a course of action, a purpose, or a state, especially in spite of difficulties, obstacles, or discouragement. Reflect on that for a minute. Your ceremony today is a testimony of your pers persistence in face of adversity, challenges, and you have come out triumphant. Now it's time to, take, to, uh, to look at the next challenge. After surviving the last 14 months in our world, we have learned to first appreciate life. Next, adapt to new ways of living, breathing, and avoiding catching the coronavirus, and protecting your life and your family. Air hugs have taken the place of close hugs. Elbow bumps replaced handshakes, and fist bumps have become the safe way to say hello or goodbye. Through it all, we persevered. Now you're here. The knowledge you have gained will stay with you forever. It will never be taken away from you. You have a chance to share that knowledge forward. As the saying goes, knowledge is power. The more knowledge you acquire, the more powerful you become. As this ceremony begins, I leave you with this message from Nelson Mandela. It always seems impossible until it's done. It always seems impossible until it's done. Today, you earned the title college graduate. I implore you to look ahead to a prosperous future. Graduates, go forth and do good work. All of us here at Pueblo Community College are very proud of you. Wishing you the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. Thank you. Felicitations, commendations, and accolades. These are words expressing praise and admiration. And you have earned every one of them because you made it. You set a goal and you finished it. You stuck to your resolve, even in those moments or days or entire semesters when it was really tough and even seemed impossible. Maybe you even hit some detours and yet here you are victorious. So why do we work so hard and sacrifice so much to earn a degree, a certificate, a credential of some sort? Maybe you came to PCC to create the opportunity for a better job, a better wage, achieving financial security, living a healthier life. And in the process, you gained even more. Think about it. Did you persevere through difficult times? Grow in patience and forgiveness sometimes especially of yourself? Did you experience some laughs along with some hard, seemingly thankless work? How about improved self-control and kindness? Appreciating goodness and humility. How about improved self-control and kindness? Appreciating goodness and humility. I venture to say that you have grown not only in skills, knowledge and academic stature, but maybe most importantly as a human, taking many steps towards the very best version of you. In truth, in earning your award, you accomplished much and much, much more. So welcome to the next chapter of your life. Rest on your laurels a bit, 
bask in the sun of your success and remember all these lessons as you aim high and plan out your next steps. Congratulations. Welcome students, families, and faculty to the graduation ceremony for Pueblo Community College. It is a sincere privilege to share this special day with you. As a board member of the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I was thrilled to learn I would be a part of your graduation, not because I was a board member, but because I am a proud graduate of PCC. To the class of 2021, you have worked so hard to be here. Whether you are a high school senior, traditional or non-traditional student, you are here. You have completed the requirements of receiving your degree while living in a global pandemic. You were forced to learn to adapt to a new way of studying, learning and living. They say that life is a continuous process of adjustment, but there was no greater call for adjustment than this past year. It is an incredible testament to PCC as an institution, the faculty and administration, and you as students to pull through all of the challenges posed to you throughout this past academic year. Know that as you adjusted this past year to persevere and achieve your degree, you must carry that same resolve forward as you now go forth into the world to apply what you have learned at Pueblo Community College. You will undoubtedly experience uncertainty, self-doubt, and uncontrollable external circumstances as you did in 2020. But remember that you will always persevere as you did this past year. On behalf of the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I am pleased to grant the Honorable Ms. Patty Javik the President of Pueblo Community College, the authority to confer the appropriate degrees and certificates to the graduating class of 2021. Congratulations. Hello graduates, family members, friends and colleagues. I'm Joe Garcia, Chancellor of the Colorado Community College System, and I'm thrilled to be with you to extend my most sincere congratulations to the Pueblo Community College Class of 2021. Now it's been over 40 years since I graduated from college, but I still remember that day vividly, just as you will remember your graduation 40 years from now, if only because this is probably not the graduation you expected when you started college. Now these are challenging times and the pandemic has hung like a cloud over you for this entire academic year, but you have persisted. Perhaps you got sick or had to watch others get sick and couldn't be by their side to comfort them. Maybe you even lost a loved one and couldn't say goodbye. Graduates, the pandemic presented each of you with enormous and unprecedented challenges, but by overcoming those challenges, you showed your strength. You adapted, you didn't give up. You worked hard and overcame adversity to graduate. That same grit and determination will be there for you as you face future challenges. And I hope you remember how strong you were and that you can find that strength again when you need it. Now, while certain traditional elements of a graduation are missing today, what is most important at any graduation is still present at this one. And it is the pride you should feel in your accomplishment, a pride that is shared by your families and all of us. What I remember from my graduation 40 years ago was more than a sense of accomplishment and pride was simply a sense of relief. I didn't feel special. I didn't even feel like celebrating. All I knew was that I had done it. It hadn't been easy, but I was finished. Box checked, degree in hand. I didn't yet have a job lined up, I hadn't applied to graduate school and I didn't know what was next. With no other plans, I just packed up my few possessions and my old Volkswagen bus and drove back across the country to move back in with my parents and to return to work at the same job, driving a truck that I'd had before starting college. 
Still, I was a different person because I had that degree. I was a different person because I knew I could face challenges and overcome them. I was a different person because I could imagine a future that was different from my past. Now, I never thought I'd become a lawyer or a college president or a chancellor or a lieutenant governor or anything else that has come along over these last 40 years, but my education made all of those things possible. All I had to do was keep my eyes open to opportunities and to have the confidence in myself to pursue those opportunities even when they seemed impossibly beyond my reach. As I took on each of those new challenges, I felt a bit unsure of myself, that there were things I didn't know how to do and that I'd never done before. But the most important thing I'd learned in college was that what I didn't know, I could learn. Remember that. Despite your degree, you don't know everything, but you can't let that stop you from taking the next step. What you don't know, you can learn. Your next task isn't to know, but to believe. Believe in yourself and have the confidence to try new things, to take risks. As a recent president said to a group of graduates, quote, it's your turn to keep this daringly radical but unfailingly simple notion of America alive. That no matter where you're born or how much your parents have, no matter what you look like or what you believe in, you can still rise to become whatever you want, still go on to achieve great things, still pursue the happiness you hope for. So PCC grads, pursue great things. Never put limits on your dreams and don't listen to others who try to impose limits upon you. Don't stop learning because you have a degree and never stop loving because you may have lost someone close to you. The world is big and there's always room for more knowledge, for more love, and for bigger dreams. You, as a proud graduate of Pueblo Community College, can always learn more, share your love with others who need that love, and make dreams come true. I believe in you, believe in yourself, and congratulations. Thank you. Our president's distinguished scholar recipient for the Pueblo and Fremont campuses has dedicated himself to a life of service, first as a member of our armed forces and now as an aspiring social worker. Gary Ramirez is a Pueblo native. He returned to his hometown with his family when his Navy enlistment ended in 2019. He didn't wait until coming home to enroll at PCC though. He started taking classes online while still on active duty so he could begin working towards his degree in social work. Gary is a disabled veteran and the first in his family to attend college. He credits PCC's TRIO SSS program for helping him navigate an unfamiliar atmosphere. He wants potential students to know that no matter what their background is, they fit in at PCC and will be helped by people who truly care about their success. Gary's next plan is to complete a bachelor's degree in social work and eventually get a master's degree. He believes there's no such thing as too much education. He wants to devote his career to helping his fellow veterans and hopes to work with the Department of Veterans Affairs. We're proud to honor Gary Ramirez as our 2021 President's Distinguished Scholar. For Angel Veach, this year's Southwest Campus Distinguished Scholar, PCC laid the foundation for her plan to serve those who are in greatest need of an advocate. Angel graduated from PCC Southwest last December with a degree in psychology. Her instructors and peers praised her dedication and enthusiasm for helping others. They also noted her passion, resiliency, and motivation. Angel is now using the knowledge she gained at PCC to complete her bachelor's degree in psychology at Fort Lewis College. 
she then intends to enter the master's degree program in social work at the University of Denver and to complete that degree by 2024. She plans to begin her career in the Four Corners area with one goal in mind, helping people. Eventually, she would like to live in Austin, Texas and be an advocate for children through her social work. Angel said she chose PCC because of its university quality classes, guaranteed transfer programs, and affordability. PCC enabled her to take the all-important first step towards a career, and she encourages others to take advantage of these possibilities as well. It is our honor to recognize Angel Veach as the 2021 President's Distinguished Scholar for the PCC Southwest Campus. Steven Trujillo has been the leader of the Pueblo Latino Chamber of Commerce since 2015. He is a proud Pueblo native and 2007 graduate of Dolores Huerta Preparatory High School. While in high school, Steven earned his associate's degree from PCC through the concurrent enrollment program. He then transferred to CSU Pueblo to earn his bachelor's and master's degrees in business administration. His community involvement began while he was still a student. In 2009, he was nominated as Colorado Student Leader of the Year. He joined the Latino Chamber in 2010 as the membership coordinator. Five years later, he was promoted to the role of President and Chief Executive Officer. He oversees the Chamber's day-to-day -day operations, public relations, and community representation. In addition, Stephen was instrumental in the creation of the Pueblo Business Economic Recovery Team, a collaboration amongst local government chambers of commerce and economic development focused agencies to promote and support local businesses during and after the COVID-19 pandemic. His community involvement began while he was still a student. In 2009, he was nominated as Colorado Student Leader of the Year. He joined the Latino Chamber in 2010 as the membership coordinator. Five years later, he was promoted to the role of President and Chief Executive Officer. He oversees the Chamber's day-to-day -day operations, public relations, and community representation. In addition, Stephen was instrumental in the creation of the Pueblo Business Economic Recovery Team, a collaboration amongst local government, Chamber of Commerce, and economic development-focused agencies to promote and support local businesses during and after the COVID-19 pandemic. Stephen serves on the board of multiple community organizations. In 2019, he was appointed by Governor Polis as a commissioner of the Colorado Commission on Higher Education. We're honored to welcome back PCC alumnus Stephen Trujillo as our 2021 commencement speaker. Hello, President Urjavik, distinguished guests, Pueblo Community College faculty and staff, family members and guests of the graduates, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2021. My name is Stephen Trujillo, and I am so proud to be joining you here today on such a milestone moment in each of your lives. Of all the titles that I have had thus far in my life, one that I am most proud of is that of an alum of Pueblo Community College, having sat in the same seat that you are tonight. Today, as I mentioned, is a monumental moment in each of your lives and one that I hope that you'll take and just pause and appreciate. The world around us is busy, even hectic at times, but stop and appreciate what you have accomplished. You know something, when I was a young boy, I remember hearing the word college and wondering what it was, what it would be like, and what it would do for me. But when you're in middle school or high school or focused on a career or a family, college seems far off, years away, or something that I'll worry about later. But then the time comes, not necessarily to go to college, but to make a decision as to what do I want to do next in life? What do I want to do next with my career? And most importantly, what will help me get there? College was the answer, and I believe college will always be the answer because education is a great equalizer in this country. 
Education is what brought me to life experiences that I could have only imagined before. Education is what has enabled me to serve as the president and CEO of the Latino Chamber of Commerce in our beautiful community. And education is what has urged in me a desire to advocate for the world of higher education as a commissioner for the Department of Higher Education. As Malcolm X once said, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. As a first generation student to attend college, I learned a lot about myself and changed the trajectory of my family for years and generations to come. My parents and younger brother are my biggest supporters and cheerleaders still to this day, but it was ultimately me that had to make that decision to put in the work, endure the struggles, and earn that final grade. I'm sure you can attest to the same feeling. But now what? What next? Where do we go from here? What do I do with this degree? It is and should always be something more than just a piece of paper on the wall, but a way of life by which you impact and positively influence others around you. So I've come to form my own way of helping me figure out what to do when you find yourself at those crossroads, asking those questions. Today, when we don't know how to find a particular location, what do we do? We Google it. We put it into our GPS and we follow the step-by-step -step instructions that it provides to get us there. But at those crossroads of life, what does that internal GPS guide tell us and how does it help us? How do we find it? Over the years, I've come to believe that our own GPS is really our goals, our persistence, and our self-care. Goals do not have to be these big lofty statements that we write down on a poster or put on a wall somewhere, but goals can be the little things that are done daily that can become habits that we adapt. Drinking more water, scheduling one more hour with family, reading one more book this year than I did last year. These things, while they are small, have a huge impact. And before you know it, I'm confident that you'll find yourself subconsciously telling yourself, earn that next degree, apply for that next job, try out that new skill. This is where it all starts. These goals of all sizes keep us moving. They keep you going. They keep you hungry for more of what life has to offer. The P in GPS, in my opinion, stands for persistence. Going on from here tonight is sure to bring challenges, struggles, and changes. Many of us have experienced these things well before today. Just look at the year 2020, which brought life as we knew it to a screeching halt. Who could have ever imagined that everyone would be going to school virtually, a graduation ceremony being planned virtually, or having to completely rethink how we walked out the front door for the day? But persistence is what I believe has brought us through. Persistence is nothing more than the ability to stick to something, be persistent in what you see is best for you and your family and those around you. Do not let the voice of others become your voice or their perception of reality become your reality. Remain steadfast and focused on moving forward and moving up. This is why you are here. Over two years ago, you may have had a moment of self-doubt or a moment where you questioned, why did I enroll in college or what am I doing here? But persistence has brought you through, earned you the grade, helped you to overcome. And it is my belief that persistence is what will take you forward. It will help you overcome the obstacles before us and overcome the fear of the unknown, for it is right beyond our comfort zone where learning and growth truly happens. Finally, that S is nothing more than self-care. Sometimes we forget that in all that we do or in all that we are involved with, we have to take a moment for ourselves and ensure that we too are okay, that we are rested and that our batteries are charged. In thinking about self-care, I can't help but think of the airline example where when you sit down in your seat, they will always tell you to put your mask on first before helping others. We must always remember that as we challenge ourselves to grow and push ourselves to new heights, there will come times when our tank will fill empty, our batteries will fill out of juice, and guess what? That's okay. Self-care is what is so important, and only you can determine what that is to recharge from turning on the Sunday game, to spending time away from our technology with family and friends and loved ones, or simply sitting out in the sun. Never think that you always have to be on, but that self-care is what will enable you to keep going on, to keep moving and helping others. This, my friends, is what I believe our own internal GPS means to us and to me, and the potential that these things have to take us to new heights and to new areas in life. 
The last thing that I'll leave you with is a quote that has always stuck with me for some reason since I remember reading it as a young boy. I can't tell you what the, why it is that this quote has stuck out to me so much or I can't even remember who the author was. But it was a quote that I found on the jewelry box that my mom had always kept on her dresser. And it said, In the race to be first, or in the race to be best, miss not simply the joy of being. Your graduating here tonight and receiving your degree is no small feat. So be proud, hold your head up high, and go out and put all that you've got to changing this world. Hello everybody, I'm Eskel Grant, the President of the Associated Student Government here at PCC. On behalf of the ASG leadership at our campuses, we want to congratulate you for being here. We might not be having a typical graduation, we might not get to throw our hats up and walk across the stage, but we're still graduating. So today is an exciting and historic day. We carry our history with us and it will help us create a bright and beautiful future. We are a part of a global community of students, taking steps towards a new chapter in life. Our hard work has not gone unnoticed. All of our time and dedication has brought us to where we are today. Congratulations for accomplishing this and congratulations to the parents and family who guided us along the way. Thank you to our president, Dr. Patty R. Javik, and all of the faculty and the staff who have invested in us. Graduating is a big achievement under any circumstances. Some of us had to overcome serious obstacles along the way. The pressures of social media, the confusion of politics and our government, our growth towards social justice, and as if it couldn't get any worse, the world has turned upside down by a global pandemic. And I'll bet that as much as you love your family, being stuck at home with them, re-watching Stranger Things, is not exactly how you envisioned this past school year. Given the current state of the world, graduating has become harder. But we didn't choose to go to college because it was going to be easy. We are here today because we're willing to put in the work and do whatever it takes to succeed, following our dreams and doing what makes us happy. I encourage you to strive to be the best versions of yourself, fly through the turbulence, and live, live life because you are a warrior. Congratulations as we press forward on our journey. Will the candidates for degrees and certificates of completion please stand? President Javik, the Pueblo Community College Registrar, certifies that the 2021 candidates for graduation have taken the necessary steps to become Pueblo Community College graduates. The faculty, department chairs, and the deans of Arts and Sciences, Business and Advanced Technology, Health and Public Safety, and Nursing have reviewed their applications and transcripts and approve and recommend the candidates for graduation. The graduates are now ready for the conferral of their degrees and certificates. By the authority vested in me by the State of Colorado through the State Board for community colleges and occupational education. I hereby officially confer upon each of you the degree and certificate of completion to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges thereof. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present the Pueblo Community College Class of 2021. Graduates, in accordance with tradition, if you have your graduation cap ready, please move your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left. I congratulate each of you.
Hey, 2021 grads, congratulations for getting here. We had a lot of tough um, and challenging times through all of this COVID, but we're here now. And we just want to say it's been a pleasure to work with all of the occupational therapy assistant students. And thank you guys so much for trusting the process and trusting us and trusting yourselves. And look where you are today. Congratulations! Woo Good you job, did it! On behalf of the Pueblo Community College Foundation, we want to say happy graduation to the PCC Panther graduates. You guys did a great job and we're so proud of all of you and wish you great success in the coming days. Go Panthers! Woo! Congratulations on your graduation. We know that you've worked very hard and we look forward to seeing you reap the benefits. Remember, graduation is not the end of a tough journey. It's the beginning of a beautiful one. We're going to miss you and know that Marianne and I are both here to help you continue your journey in healthcare. Congratulations. To the 2020 PCC graduates, on behalf of the Fremont Campus Go Zone staff and work studies, you rock. Congratulations, and we are wishing you the very best. Hi, I'm Mike Mafucci, Director of Student Services at the PCC Fremont Campus. It's been a tough year, and just wanted to congratulate everyone on reaching your goal, and best of luck in your future. Hi, I'm Melissa Santa Steven from the Fremont Campus. I wanted to give a special shout out to Rena Swisher, graduating from the nursing program. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. You did it. Hey guys, this is Jerry Davis here at Fremont Campus. I just want to say congratulations to all the graduates. I know you worked really, really hard. Uh, yay for you. It took Some of it took a while, but keep going. Keep going. Congratulations. As a college president, there is no more rewarding experience than to participate in a commencement exercise. And as with each year, I do so with a deep sense of pride and humility. Graduates, given the unprecedented circumstances of a world turned upside down, you are to be commended and celebrated for your tenacity and your persistence. New thought leader, Christian D. Larson, reminds us to believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. I cannot tell you how much I love this quote. It is especially helpful at times like this when we are facing such disruption. It is in trying times like this that we seem to forget what is true and instead wallow in disappointment. Now, let's get totally honest. In many ways, today stinks. You've worked so hard to earn your degree. And now, all you have to remember the culmination of your academic journey is a virtual celebration. There are few events throughout the course of our lives that alter the paths we are traveling and that we will undoubtedly remember forever. For those of us who are privileged enough to complete the two, three, or four strenuous years at an institution of higher education, the commencement ceremony is certainly one of those events. So yes, your disappointment is real. But given the timing of this occasion and the fact that you are about to set forth to make many new decisions, let's take the opportunity to use those feelings of disappointment to gain some clarity. I would suggest that with clarity comes conviction, true originality, and a path forward as you begin to make new decisions and to use your education to create new opportunities that will have a lifelong impact on all of your lives. I have three suggestions for you to consider. First, think about the future and focus on your end goal. When you're disappointed, and feel negative emotions, many times you focus your thoughts inward on what you're feeling at the moment. To overcome hard times, you need to pick up your head 
appreciate the context, and keep your eyes and energy focused on the longer term. For example, this commencement exercise is indeed an age-old rite of passage, and it's easy to feel that everyone else has gotten to experience walking across the stage to receive their diploma and shake the hand of the college president. So why not me? I encourage you to not focus on what, what is out of your control, but what a wonderful opportunity you now have to use your knowledge to contribute to the betterment of this world. Focus on the long term and what you ultimately want. Don't waste too much time figuring out why this has happened, or what you may or may not have done differently, or what impact COVID has had on your graduation. I assure you, COVID will end, but your graduation will be with you forever. Your education will be with you forever. Second, make friends, not enemies. The feeling of disappointment can sometimes lead to paralysis. You may feel like you don't know what to do or what's the next step to take. Disappointment can put you in a dark place and cause you to start projecting negative feelings towards others. Don't let it stop you from thinking strategically or acting professionally to accomplish a greater good. Now, how many times were you put into a work group especially early on in a semester, and you've thought, oh, if only I could have done this assignment on my own. Alone, I could get it done faster, better, and then move on. I'm also pretty sure that you soon realized that instead of harboring negative feelings towards your peers, you could consider ways in which you could partner with them, and that decision not only benefited you, but the group as a whole. After all, look at you now. Finally, acknowledge your pain. While it is important to push ahead, don't worry if you can't do so immediately. Do not feel ashamed if you lack positivity just for a little while. You can benefit from feeling disappointed. Disappointment allows you to better appreciate when things get going well. Research would suggest that acknowledging and feeling negative emotions like disappointment can help you to be successful. You can use disappointment to evaluate your experiences and paint a clearer picture of your path to success. It's a catalyst for identifying how to get unstuck and move forward. None of us ever seek disappointment, and we are always looking for opportunity. And so the next time you feel let down, remember to embrace the pain, focus on the end goal, and partner with others to accomplish a greater purpose. Your opportunity lies in how you handle the setback. As entrepreneur Robert Kiyosaki says, the size of your success is measured by the strength of your desire, the size of your dream, and how you handle disappointment along the way. Do not let your disappointment of missing out on a typical graduation keep you from moving forward and doing great things, the ambitious things. I encourage you to travel, get rich, get famous, innovate, lead, fall in love, make and lose fortunes. But as you do, do so with kindness as doers, as accomplishers, as dreamers, as your best self. In conclusion, let me again encourage you to not let disappointment keep you from focusing on doing great things and being your best self. Henry James reminds us that there are three things in human life that are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. The third is to be kind. Congratulations and best wishes, 2021 Pueblo Community College graduates. Use your education and kindness to make this a better world for all of us to live in.
Congratulations to our 2021 graduates. My name is Mark Peacock. I'm the Executive Dean of the Fremont Campus of PCC. On behalf of the staff and faculty of the Fremont Campus, I congratulate you on this very important accomplishment. I also want to congratulate your families. Your accomplishments are shared with those who've nurtured, supported, and encouraged you. Our accomplishments are never ours alone. If I have seen farther, wrote the great Sir Isaac Newton, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Today is an opportunity to recognize the giants among us, those who have pointed the way and lifted us up, helping us to see farther, and giving us the faith to believe in ourselves and in our capacity to accomplish great things. And with that encouragement, you've overcome obstacles, you've endured long hours, you've persisted in the face of many difficulties. You embody the word grit. You wouldn't settle or seek the easy path of excuses and shortcuts. Your dreams, your dedication, and your persistence were greater than the challenges you faced. When the going got tough, you just kept on going. Ronald Reagan said that there are some among us who have that special spirit that says, quote, give me a challenge and I'll meet it with joy. Today, we honor that spirit that is alive and well in each of you. We celebrate your attainment of this important milestone. For us at PCC, graduation is the culmination of our mission. All of our efforts come to fulfillment here, now, and in you. May your life be marked by service to others, leadership in your community, innovation in your work, love for your family, and that special spirit of grit wherever your path may take you. Once again, graduates, congratulations. We wish you the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of the ceremony where you would normally present the diplomas to our graduates. Due to these unique circumstances, we are going to recognize our graduates individually, just as we would have done in a traditional ceremony. The following presentation is our way of honoring their accomplishments.